everybody. Welcome to Uncle Dutch Farms. My name is Bethany and today I'm going to be taking a Costco carport and turning it into a bunny slash milking barn for the winter. I've been putting this off and I can't put it off any longer. It has been cold and rainy, which is why I've been putting it off. But this morning I had to milk the goat in the rain and that was the worst thing ever for both of us, I think. <laughs> it was pretty awful. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get started on this project. This is probably gonna be over a couple days because it's been rainy and pretty crappy, but I just wanna get it started. So um, I'll show you what I've got going on. So this is what I call the village. This is where my livestock lives. I've got my chicken coop here, my goats and their goat house there. They are in their Alcatraz pen while they hang out there with their new boyfriend for a little while. Um, hopefully so we can have some babies. Um, and then my hay, and if you've got my bunnies back there. And right here is the new rabbit cage that I have built, but I haven't put anything in. And here is the frame for my old cosplay the Costco um, carport. Now this carport was kind of an extension of the living space. We used it when we were building our house and we were living in a camper. It was like a 32 foot camper with five people living in it and a dog and two cats. And so this was like an extension of the living space. Well the old cover has long since rotted. The frame is still pretty solid. There is one bent corner way up here that I'm gonna have to reinforce. It's actually pretty solid, but that's the only kind of issue with this frame. So I have bought a new cover, but I also am going to be reinforcing it with, I don't know if we can even really demo. Um, I'm going to be putting up some extra reinforcements here, two for each of these sections. So there will be six um, kind of reinforcing straps going across. And then I'm going to put the cover over it. And then after that cover is, I'm actually going to be using a used billboard tarp to go over it the whole way. See, here's the thing is we actually do get a fair amount of snow here. And I want to, since I will be housing my rabbits in here, I want to make sure that it won't be collapsing. But I don't want to be, you know, sweeping the snow off it all the time. So this year, I think I will have to monitor things pretty carefully. But... I think it will work. I've talked to some people who live in way colder, more snowy climates than I do who said that that's exactly what they've done. Um, this is really just a short-term solution until I can build a barn, but I do not want to be milking in the rain and in the snow, and I want to have a, a little bit better of a more enclosed area for my rabbits. Um, I would like to expand my rabbit tree. That's another video probably. Um, and then the other thing is, is last year, this chicken coop is great for my chickens. It's nice and big. Um, there's not even that many chickens in there. But they just kind of hung out in there the whole entire winter. They were just like in there. They didn't come out because we do get several feet of snow. And so I'm hoping by putting this right up against where they are, it will give them a place to come out and kind of scratch around. I'll give them, you know, maybe a little sandy area with some diatomaceous earth. And we'll just kind of see what we can come up with for them. And that way they can also be scratching through all the rabbit droppings and everything like that. The idea being the rabbits, the rabbits will have their cages and then all their poop and their spent hay and everything will file down below. I'll probably put some shavings down also just to help absorb things. And then the hens and the, the chickens can come through and scratch through everything and help accelerate that composting process that's the idea if anything it'll just give them a place to go and so that's kind of what my project is here and today because it's just been so horrible rainy we've got a break in the rain so I'm just going to try and get the straps up today um, and then we will continue on with the extra canopy and then the billboard tarp when it arrives it's actually not even here yet um, but I will um, show the whole process too
Okay, so here's how I'm gonna secure these on. You can see that I have run the strap through this hole, so that's gonna be completely tight. Now I'm gonna run it all the way over here. So what I need to do is get this to attach about midway on this string, but obviously I need to create something for it to hang on to. So I'm just going to thread it through here till it's probably about where I want it to be. And I don't think you can see it. So I'm just then I'm just going to tie a knot like this. Okay, I'm going to do it a little bit higher up. So let's get that up here so I can have some space to tighten it. Okay. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So that just looks like this right here. So it's the the strap is coming over and then it's just tied onto this guy. And now I just have to loop it over and tighten it down. Hope I don't fall off my rickety stump. Whoa. Bring it over like this. Now thread it through. And tighten. This is really tight. I think that'll work. Oops. And here's what it looks like. You can see it's knotted right there and then looped around, come back up and tightened onto the ratchet. So now it's time for the real adventure which is getting the, um, the canopy top up with the sidewalls and everything and if I remember correctly, I haven't even opened the box yet, but if I remember correctly, this is definitely a multi-person job and you're supposed to do it, I think, um, without these things on. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this myself, but um, uh, I guess we'll find out. And if anything, you'll watch me fail spectacularly and then I will recruit some help. Or maybe it'll be a raging success. So here we go. Okay, it's up. I'm very happy that it went off mostly without a hitch, except in the far corner. I did rip the stitching a little bit when I was pulling the leg thingy down, but it was simple. Bailing twine to the rescue. I always have a lot of bailing twine around. So just um, pulled the legs over and eventually worked it way worked its way over and yes it would have been easier with two people but I don't have a second person right now and I wanted to get it up because I don't know if you can tell oh there it is beautiful blue sky it has been raining for, and drizzly for like a week and it was actually supposed to be raining and drizzly today 
Um, but it's not, so I wanted to get it done today. Kids are at school, so it is what it is. But now I won't have to milk in the rain. Um, I thought I had bought the kit with sidewalls, but there was no sidewalls, so apparently I didn't. I'll have to go check my order. Um, I'm probably still going to buy sidewalls or do something because I want to keep the rabbits out of the wind. Um, so we'll have to see what I'm going to do with that. All right, so my billboard tarp finally arrived. And um, if you don't know what a billboard tarp is, it's basically, well, here's another one that I have right here. It's a piece of a billboard. This was the first one that I got for some of my hay storage. But it's really, really, really thick. It's multiple layers of vinyl. And it holds up like you would not believe, supposedly. This is my first year using them against, you know, bad weather and whatnot. And the one thing that I noticed about the canopy cover the first time around is that it rotted out from the sun after about a couple years. So I'm hoping that putting the billboard tarp over it will help it last a little bit longer for me and give it just a little bit more stiffness to hold up against snow, which is my biggest concern. Now, I spent a couple weeks because the one that the tarp that I was getting for the barn was a little bit delayed. So you can see I've kind of moved in a little bit into my little shelter area. It's pretty cool. My dog's made herself a really nice nest in my expensive last minute hay, which is great. <laughs> but uh, basically, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cover, I'm just gonna put the tarp up over here and then I'll bungee it down and then hopefully that will be good. If not, I guess I'll have to go back and get some more ways to attach it. The thing about billboard tarps is they don't have grommets. So you have to do the old rock and bungee trick, and I'll show you what that is. Now it's all spread out. That was kind of a big job. This is a 12 by 24 billboard. Looks like some kind of a sports thing, looks like. Um, anyway, in case you're wondering, it cost me, I think it was 57 and change shipped. Um, you can get these at, I got this one at Billboard Vinyls this one at billboard tarps so uh now i'm just gonna do like what i did with the other tarp and just use my baling twine rope and my old you know throwing the log over the thing and pulling the thing and you'll get to watch a log so here's how you do the rock trick grab a rock this is probably too big but you know whatever wrap it around and you tie it off with like a bungee or some twine or something. I'm just going to use bungees because I, this is temporary for me. I am going to use this method to fasten it though permanently but not in these spots. Okay so the rock will keep the, tw the bungee from slipping Actually, maybe it won't. Well, I've been thinking about it and I really do think the bungee might be too stretchy and it's more likely to kind of slip loose while I'm pulling it over because this is a very heavy tarp. So I think what I am gonna do is we're gonna take this guy, there's our rock, take it over there to where the baling twine is hanging. And then I'm gonna use the baling twine to really, really secure it around the rock. Um, and then I'm gonna do it on the other side and then just kind of pull it up.
totally thought that would be easier than the first one. That was a lot harder. But if I'd had a second person, it would have gone a lot faster. So there's that. Oh, I'm tired. So now what I need to do is secure it. I think I'm just going to kind of temporarily rig it up because I still want to add more tarps on the sides. But this was my goal for today. So I'm just going to bungee them to the edges. And then I'll figure out a more permanent thing another day. Anyway, it's ugly and temporary, semi-temporary, but it's done. And this will give me a nice area to keep my rabbits. This is a 10 by 20 area with my hay off to the side. I've got some more down there, but this will give me a nice area to keep my rabbits because I'm expanding my rabbitry. I'm actually picking up two new breeders tomorrow, so then I'll have a full breeding trio of silver fox rabbits, which I've wanted for a long time, and I will do another video on that. I am really excited. Anyway, so this is my temporary barn. I guess we'll find out next year how it holds up. Thanks for joining me <laughs> and bearing with me with all my frustrations and failed experiments, but this actually finally did work. So super awesome. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.